Invaders have entered our solar system. This Sunday, a comet that has been traveling across interstellar space will be at its closest to the Sun as it approaches the inner border of the asteroid belt. According to many astronomers, the visitor, also known as Du-I Borisov, is a dirty snowball, or a snowy dirt ball, that is traveling at a speed of about 33 kilometers per second. On December 28th, the third day of the Boxing Day test, it will be closest to Earth, just in time for Christmas leftovers. However, it won't be too close. At that time, the comet will still be approximately 300 million kilometers away, safely outside the orbit of Mars. Hi guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we'll be taking a look at another massive threat to Earth from another solar system that NASA just found. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to uncover. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video, it helps us a long way. You can get an idea of the comet's size right now by looking at a snapshot of it obtained by Yale scientists using Hawaii's Keck Observatory. The tail of Borisov is about 160,000 kilometers long, or nearly 14 times the diameter of the Earth, whereas the solid nucleus is only a few kilometers broad. Astronomer Michelle Bannister of Queen's University Belfast commented, having an interstellar object nearby is the most fantastically exciting thing. The comet was given the name Borisov in honor of amateur astronomer Gennady Borisov, who made the first discovery of it on August 30th. The comet's name contains the abbreviation 2i, which stands for second interstellar, and denotes that it is the second interstellar object we have detected entering the solar system. The first was a strange cigar-shaped object that came to visit us in 2017 and was given the name Oumuamua, which is Hawaiian for a messenger from afar arriving first. Because of the hyperbolic orbit of Borisov, which shows that it is not gravitationally tied to the Sun, and the high speed at which it is moving, we are certain that it is an interstellar intrusion. Astronomer John T. Horner of the University of Southern Queensland said, These things are sleeting through the solar system all the time. It's just we've finally gotten to the stage where our technology can catch them. It would be stupid to think that our solar system is the only one in the universe spewing debris into space and strewing it throughout the universe. This is true because celestial bodies like Borisov and Oumuamua are a natural byproduct of the formation and evolution of planetary systems, according to Dr. Bannister. Over the course of its existence, any given planetary system will eject hundreds upon trillions of these tiny worlds into the cosmos, and they just roam amongst the stars, she added. It's a galaxy that's not only populated by blazing stars and dark matter, but also by flying rocks, according to the scientist. There are a few reasons why we were able to detect Borisov as it approached our sun, as opposed to Oumuamua, which we discovered as it was leaving the solar system. Since Oumuamua's approach trajectory was behind the sun in relation to Earth while it was coming in, our telescopes on Earth were unable to detect it. We may have received more advanced notice of Oumuamua's arrival, she continued, if we had a telescope on our orbit on the other side of the sun. While Oumuamua is best characterized as the husk of a comet, with all of its ices burned out, Borisov is a true comet, according to Dr. Bannister. How are comets created? Planetismals are the tiny, newborn planets that emerge from the disk of gas and dust that surrounds planetary systems. These objects range in size from asteroids, which are at one extreme, to comets, which are at the other. 
A little bit of dust, rock, rubble and metal are also added to the volatile substances such as water ice, dry ice and carbon monoxide ice that make up comets. They develop in planetary systems as outer regions where the temperature is low enough for the materials to solidify rather than become gaseous. These flammable substances sublime or boil off as the comet heats up and approaches the sun. Together with some dust, this creates the coma that surrounds the comet. The tiny coma of sublimating ices in Borisov makes it more active than Oumuamua. We can see it at a longer distance from our star because of its brightness. It's only reflecting the sun's light, not producing any discernible light of its own. It is larger than Oumuamua, which is only 200 to 300 meters across, making it easier for us to view Borisov. At 2 to 3 kilometers across, it is larger than Oumuamua. In the solar system, you really see comet-type stellar objects at larger distances than you can see tiny rock-type stellar objects, said Dr. Bannister. He asserted that the Earth had previously been struck by comets from distant star systems since these objects were constantly sleeting through the solar system. Given that comets are primarily composed of combinations of frozen water and other ices, scientists were surprised to find evidence of water on Borisov. So Professor Horner explained, to get water on this thing is just confirmation that comets are comets, wherever they are in the galaxy. But it's so cool to have an alien water, water that comes from around another star. The discovery of cyanogens by astronomers in Borisov is likewise not particularly surprising, according to Dr. Bannister. One of those things is that comets contain cyanide, she noted. According to Professor Horner, the more time we have to focus our telescopes on Borisov, the more thoroughly we can examine the gas that is emanating from it. If we can acquire good enough measurements of the gas around the comet, then we'll actually start to be able to dig into the specifics of the constituent abundances, and also isotopic abundances, he said. These may actually teach us a little bit more about the environment this thing formed in, and maybe they'll disclose small distinctions between our comets and this comet, the scientists speculated. The International Astronomical Union predicts that on December 7th, possibly December 8th in our time zone, Borisov will make its closest approach to the Sun or the perhelion of its orbit. It will be twice the typical distance between the Earth and the Sun at that point, or around two astronomical units from both of us. It is therefore outside Mars's orbit, according to Dr. Bannister. While Oumuamua was what we would actually refer to as a near-Earth asteroid, it was only 0.25 astronomical units away from us. According to Professor Horner, Borisov will reach a peak magnitude of 16 or 15, which will be 10,000 times too faint to be seen with the human eye. You'd probably need at least a 10 or a 12-inch telescope to view it, and in all honesty, something larger. Professor Horner advised going to your local astronomy group, who might have the kind of telescope equipment to be able to pick it up if you don't have the equipment to look at it yourself. And that ends our episode. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below on your thoughts and don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.